our workout. Maggie and I deadlifted a lot today. I did 175 and I did 185 aka Emma's ex's weight. <laughs> Actually, I honestly think he's like what <laughs> But I genuinely think. Green hoodie boy, how much do you weigh? Hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna Emma. <laughs> Leaving her working it irritated. <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> Which always takes so long to open the door. doing the haul now so this first shirt i'm showing you guys this is all the stuff i ordered for black friday well not all of it but a little bit of it this first shirt is a long sleeve little gray ribbed top from joa brown it's not that cropped i feel like i want to crop it a little bit more but i love it for just lounging around in or wearing with like a cute outfit so comfy Everything I'm going to be showing you guys first is from Joel Brown. So here is another Joel Brown top. And you can't, oh, now you can kind of see it. It is a cropped long sleeve and it has these buttons down the front. It's so cute, so soft, ribbed material. I'm obsessed with their basics. Top is kind of like the first, a little bit more cropped, tan, button up the front. Just like really comfy loungewear top. I'm so obsessed with it. This is like my new favorite company. I love this one. Then we have this white top with the lettuce hem on the bottom and on the sleeves. So, so cute. Love it. This next top is a black turtleneck. I love turtlenecks right now. But I really like this because it's not thick like a sweater. It's very thin and a very light top. All of Joel Brown's tops are very thin and light. Like the rest of them are. But yeah, I really like this a lot. It's so soft. It's ribbed. You can't really see that well. And then it has the little holes for your thumb. Which is a cute little touch to keep you extra warm in the winter. This tank top is so soft and it really shows the boobs but i want to show you guys the detail on it if you can even see under here like the under wire area there's like a there's this detail underneath that i really really like yeah this is such a basic little tank except for that under wire part that looks so cute and it's so flattering and it's such a soft tank top it's something about joel brown i just am obsessed with their stuff right now this top I wore a few vlogs ago, but is from IMGia, and it's just a paisley kind of mesh top. It's so beautiful. I'll insert a photo of me wearing this top and the outfit I wore with it, but it's so cute, and you just wear like a little bralette underneath since it is mesh, and you can see through it. I also wore this beautiful top in an Instagram post. It is from IMGia as well, and... It's just like this maroon and orange color top. It's so cute. Another IMGia t-shirt. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this whole sleeve situation, but this top is just so cute. But I feel like I have shoulder pads on. I'm not sure if it's because of the way that they're tied and I need to like not have them be tied. But other than that, yeah, it's not working. I'm not sure how I feel. 
This is such a cute top though. Maybe if I wear like a jacket over it or something. I don't know. This is another beautiful top from IMGia. It's just a like open back, big neckline type top. I just love tops that only cover the front. They're so cute. And then it has that lettuce hem on the bottom. Here's the back. Just has a tie. So cute. Last but not least, this beautiful corset leather top from IMG. The side is just so cute. I have to tie them tighter, obviously, but it's just these little crisscrossy design. Here's the front again. Then I got so many questions on these leather pants. These are beautiful leather pants. They're the Molina pant from Aritzia. I will have everything linked down below. But these pants are just so, so, so cute. I love these leather pants. They're so soft. Vegan leather. Best pants ever. Literally all I've done today is laundry and cleaned my apartment. Just did that haul for you guys and I'm wearing one of the tops because it's literally so comfortable. But I'm going to finish doing my laundry. I have to make my bed. Put my bed sheets back on. Put stuff away and then edit. I have to start editing I guess because it's like getting late. And then after that I'm going to go to the grocery store. Pretty boring Tuesday. So... Currently uploading a video. Four minutes. But I get so many questions about my keyboard, and I just ordered this off of Amazon. It's I just searched up a Final Cut Pro keyboard, and this came up, and it just helps you edit. I don't know why, but I just like can't edit without it because this is how I started. So I just can't do it without it because. Yeah, the muscle memory, but just something about the colors and seeing the little photos just really sets the tone. I don't know. Does anyone else push going to the grocery store off for literally ever? Also, my bun, I feel like a ballerina with this bun right now, but I have to go to the grocery store right now and like I don't want to go literally because I'm cold. <laughs> so... I did it. I went grocery shopping. I had the cutest cashier. He was just so happy and excited about the holidays. We were talking about it and like what we're doing. And I was like, I'm not really doing anything. Nothing special, obviously, like with the pandemic and everything. But yeah, he was just so cute. And I just love the holiday time because I feel like everyone is just so nice during the holidays. I mean, you should be nice no matter what, but the holiday season is just something different. And another thing, I was bringing my cart back to the people at Whole Foods. They wash it every time you get a cart. But I like, obviously, like when you're done with your cart, after you put your groceries in your car, you bring it back to the cart area. And the guy was like, oh my God, thank you so much for bringing your cart back. And I was like, of course, like, I always do that. Um, but I was just like, of course, like happy holidays, like, have a nice night and I was thinking and I was like oh my gosh it's so freaking cold outside no one brings their cart back because the parking lot is just full of carts and that's just so sad like take an extra step or like a little bit longer you're about to hop into a hot car so why don't you just run your cart back to the door it takes you literally like five seconds because these people are freezing their ass off outside working and they're gonna go run around the parking lot and grab 
a bunch of carts, but they're not gonna be able to get back into a warm car. So just take that extra step and be nice, you know? I don't know. That's just my little TED talk. Anyway, I'm gonna head home now. I cannot wait to go to bed tonight. I'm so excited. Also, I think Maggie texted me, what? Do you have cashews? No, I don't have cashews. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh my God! Oh my God! I thought Maggie FaceTimed me, but my friend FaceTimed me. Yay!